Uh, this is Roydam Sheet uh, and my first request to all of you who are watching my channel is to subscribe and this uh, keep me motivating and I will do more hard work to make the videos uh, for you especially the educational one so here we go for the lecture 3 CACP lecture 3 module 1 book 1 chapter 1 introduction to the supply chain here comes the four highlights of the supply chain management which we discuss in this lecture number one is supply chain management is about creating net value number two is they should be value creating activities in the supply chain that go beyond the limit of activities of a particular entity in the supply chain number three is managing supply chain requires balancing competing interest number four is many variations in the supply chain so we go all of these things in uh, here the most important thing to remember is that supply chain management is about creating net value if you don't give the net value uh, everything go wrong means you don't get anything out of it so first thing is to create the net value uh, the example is like this like you reduce the cost you know early efforts in the supply chain management was to reduce the cost but the net effective is negative when you don't create a value the example is like this that you have uh, have a shoe factory and you purchase a leather maybe not of a good quality so when you make the final product that is the shoe and the leather is not good so so the net value you give to the finished product is negative so everything go wrong means you don't get anything out of it so the main objective here is to create the net value for the customers for the stakeholders for the for the people who are making the investment bankers the government so you have to make a net value from the supply chain that is the core objective you need to remember this thing thank you uh the next one is about the channel master or the nuclear nucleus firm the main firm that is controlling the supply chain activities it can be mcdonald's it can be walmart so these are the hub of the supply chain activities like a manufacturer like a toyota uh, general motors all these companies are the nucleus firm so all the supply chain activities are revolve around them but that particular entities that the manufacturer or the retailer deals in uh, here the point to convince uh, to tell you is that so the value creating activities not only limited to that uh, particular entity which is called uh, channel master it should be beyond that means it should be for everyone for the supplier for for the customers for for the uh, other stakeholders hope you understand the point if you don't get it please let me know so i can explain more number three managing supply chain requires balancing competing interest so here the neat thing you need to understand is that you know there are like 50 states in usa and 28 countries in european unions and everybody is competing with on international level uh, the competition is very high so uh, as a supply chain manager or managing the supply chain you need to balance the things means an example is this one that there is a competition for requirement of vaccine for the COVID-19 you know, everywhere but you need to look this then you need to balance these things like if sub country is running five five uh, million doses some countries are running one million doses so here you need to make things fair and you need to balance the supply so not being biased you, you need to balance out the things that everything remains in harmony and balance so uh, that is the focal point here if you don't need to understand please let me know 
Here we go about the variations in the supply chain management. Initially, we have studied the basic model of the supply chain having three entities and four flows. Here, the variation can be much, much bigger than that. Like it includes everyone directly or indirectly from extraction of the raw material, then transferring it into the finished good and then selling it to the customers. It can have many, many entities like ext the ext extractor of the raw material, the manufacturer of the raw material, the supplier, the electricity supplier, the government and, and uh, the wholesaler, distributor, customer. So all these entities can come inside it. So next one is the flow so flow of the product from the supplier then to the to the manufacturer and to eventually all the those process flows that involve physical flows from raw material to the end customer and similarly the cash flow uh, from supplier from customers to the end suppliers and one important is the reverse flow like when you do the repairing or uh, some some something finished good is damaged and you bring it for the remanufacturing that is the reverse flow maybe you dispose if uh, the disposal go for the disposal that is also the flow in that so it can have many many flows uh, other thing is that you can see the supply chain is is the combination of the process like uh, gathering information from the market and then processing the information uh, then you know uh, shipment process then you have the fulfillment process then you have uh, the payment process so it can you know uh, you can see it uh, supply chain is the name of many processes means they are match processes so hope you understand it's it's this topic you know is uh, is is a comparison for the basic model and what can be the maximum so we're discussing in this topic thank you